So we'll do the trial and that'll be it, I think. February 23rd, 9.34 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 2. How did the investigation go yesterday, Mr. Wright? Frankly, there's still a lot of gray areas. Or rather, the whole thing is one big gray area. Don't worry about me, no matter what the outcome. I'm ready to accept my fate. I believe in you, sis. Mr. Wright, let me offer you a word of advice. Yes? A defense attorney should never believe their client. <gasps> the defendant is called to trial because they are suspected of wrongdoing. Never forget that. Miss Sky, you... You remind me a lot of Mia. But there's one decisive difference between you and her. And that is... You're not a defense attorney. Uh, I believe it's almost time for the trial. Good luck, Mr. Wright. My first trial without a Fey helping me. No one's gonna bail me out this time. I'll be alone in there. So I have to just discover the truth all by myself. Let's do it, Mr. Wright. I'll be with you the whole way. Oh. Goody. <laughs> 10 a.m. Oh, so courtroom number nine. But they all look the same. Court is now in session for the trial of Miss Lana Sky. The defense is ready, Your Honor. The prosecution has been ready for a while, Your Honor. Edgeworth. In two months, but I haven't been in a courtroom since his trial. Swolesworth! <laughs> I hope that personal feelings will not be a part of the proceedings today, Mr. Rice. Huh. I will choose the path I think is right, regardless of what the, those around me might say. The judgment to be made here is in our hands, not those of anyone else. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. I would have almost assumed that after the last trial, he would have gotten rid of all his cravats. Because that's clearly something passed down to him by, um, Von Karma. Yeah. Like, uh, why affiliate yourself with Von Karma and his ilk? I don't know. Stockholm Syndrome is a powerful thing. Chief Prosecutor Lana Sky has committed an unpardonable crime. Not only this, but she was rash enough to commit it in the prosecutor's office lot. Wow! He's much more forceful in person! I suddenly feel like confessing to everything! However, she will now pay for her rashness with her life. As a witness to her crime. A professional witness. Well then, call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. Prosecution calls its first witness, Miss Angel Star, to the stand. The cough up queen. Ah! Haven't I seen you somewhere? <laughs> you ordered the caviar lunch, right? Ho ho! Caviar! I've never eaten caviar before. The judge is really wolfing it down. I will bribe all of you with my delectable treats. If you know what I mean. Ah, and for you. I have a fiestable. I'll have two of your best eye candy, if you know what I mean. Uh, thanks. Will the witness state her name and profession? Ah, and you, sir. Did you order the fingerprint lunchbox? That really looks like just rice with some black sesame seeds on top of it. It's too early for lunch. Your name and profession, please. Hmm. Well, Your Honor, how does it taste? So this is why everyone raves about caviar. It's so tasty it hurts! I always thought caviar would taste like pickled tapioca. Mm -hmm. What the heck does pickled tapioca taste like? Name, profession, now. Me? The name is Angel Star. Don't go forgetting it. I find myself running Lunchland these days. 
Is that what you wanted me to say, Mr. Edgeworth? Very well, witness. Please describe the incident to us. The pr prosecution will wait! I'm not finished eating! Hurry it up! Ah, very well, Mr. Edgeworth. As you know, we usually call on the police to, uh, police to provide a description of the crime. Your Honor, as Mr. Edgeworth has said it to the court, I'm a professional. Hmm. Ah. Uh, huh. What exactly does that mean? Until two years ago, Miss Angel Starr was a special investigator with the police. She was a first-rate homicide detective. What? What? Miss Starr was a detective? Ah. Huh. Ah! Ha ha! Do you think I, of, of the underground variety? I know who you are! Cough up! Cough up, Queen Angel Star, your honor. Long time no see. I'm sorry, I didn't actually look at your face to remember it. Very well, you may continue with the description, Miss, Miss Star. Just who is this lady? If I might have the court's attention over here. The parking lot of the prosecutor's office is divided into two blocks. A block is for the prosecutor's office personnel. B block is for visitors and clients. A chain divider separates the two blocks. I, su I, su I suppose that's to keep visitors from ta taking up prosecutor spaces, yes? Isn't that funny, though? Because the prosecutors actually have fewer spaces because they have that weird elevator thingamajig. Yeah, but they well, don't more need to spaces. come and go as much. Yeah, that's true. The crime took place by a car in the back of a lot, in the car's trunk. The killer stabbed the victim with this knife and went to drive the body out. Unfortunately for her, there was a witness. And an arrest was made on the spot. And who was this valiant witness? Why, it was me, your honor. Witness, did you see the very moment of the crime? Of course, your honor. Immediately after that, I apprehended the chief prosecutor. Huh. Seems rather cut and dry, doesn't it? Well, Mr. Wright, uh, I can't agree on principle, your honor. It seems that some poor losers are unwilling to accept the truth, Your Honor. I, I'll accept that I'm a loser. Or, you know, I'm poor, but I'm not a loser. I've won every case. Shall I proceed to crush what little hope they have remaining? If you can, then give them your worst, Miss Star. Wait, are they talking about me? Witness testimony, witnesses account. Somehow, I always knew a day like this would come. I was on my way to deliver a lunchbox to my boyfriend. When I sensed something, it, yes, it was my spidey senses. Perhaps it was my finely honed detective in, detective's intuition at work. Whoa, that's, that's a cool illustration there, but she definitely looks crazed. Through the wire fence, I saw the chief prosecutor standing next to a garish car. The chief prosecutor was holding a knife in her right hand. Then, she thrust the point of tip. Pointy tip? Really? That's how she would describe it? It's odd wording. The pointy tip of the knife into Detective Goodman's chest. A lunchbox to your boyfriend. How touching. Uh, as you can see, there's no room for doubt. The key point of your testimony seems to be nothing other than the point of the knife which you saw being stabbed into Detective Goodman. So, how does it feel to be so utterly crushed? I... I'm still thinking about that. It... it's merely a flesh wound, Mr. Wright. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may ex cross-examine the witness. Press everything. 
press her every- I mean, her on everything. How did you know? I respect the prosecutor's basic abhorrence of crime. Yet their methods are ugly and twisted. Twisted methods will always lead to tragedy. All right, because she has a, a personal vendetta against prosecutors, right? Yes. Lunch lady's uninformed opinion is duly noted. If anything, she would have the most pertinent motive, wouldn't she? She has some serious motive. Given that they are used to erasing inconvenient evidence at their whim, <laughs> Killing off a detective that knew too much is merely an extension of that. Miss mm. Starr, do you have something personal against prosecutors? I felt that I had found my dream job when I became an investigator. And if I hadn't been laid off by those prosecutors over there, I'd still be one. Wow, she's really divulging way too much. Laid off? She was fired. To me, prosecutors are nothing more than worms. Gummy worms, in fact. I should probably add that to my next recipe. I oh. bet they'll show up. That said, I am a pro. As you know, my testimony is unbiased and flawless. Oh man, that's so contradictory Very right there. well. You may continue, Miss Star. I was... All right, the boyfriend. Yeah, this boyfriend. He is the detective. Not that boyfriend. The security guard. Th that boyfriend? You have several? Do you have any openings? <laughs> One beardy opening, maybe? Yes, though I think you've long passed your expiration date, Your Honor. I am full of vim and vigor. <laughs> and loads of drugs. This... Boyfriend, that boyfriend, and the other boyfriend. Care to join? Oh, wow. oh baby! <laughs> oh, you, <laughs> you called that one, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> also, how'd you like my expiration date comment, considering she's all about food? <laughs> it was tacky. I know, it was so tacky. I'm trying to be more humorous with my... No, no, you're, you're working it. In any case... The yet another boyfriend position is still open for applicants. Okay, there we go. Much quieter, or at least considerably so. Aye! I'll, I'll stick with the lunches, thanks. Note to self, the judge had to think before replying. The security guard room is in the, the lot in A block. Oh, okay, interesting. I didn't know that. Okay, A block, there you go. It's up on the second level, so you can see everything from there. That'd be the room with the security sign. Incidentally, did you bring your lunch boxes by car? Since I'm a visitor now, I parked in B block. So, she was in B block when she witnessed the crime? So that was the sent something. Mm hmm. Well? Sorry, getting tired. You sensed something, so you're saying you had a premonition of the murder. It felt like, oh, how would you say? Oh, yes. It was like the feeling you get when you view a pumpkin chock full of seeds. I have no idea what that means. Speaking of a detective's intuition, wasn't the victim, Mr. Bruce Goodman, also a detective? Yes, well... He was like a young cheese. I still have no idea what you're talking about. A young cheese? A pale white cheese, not yet tangy with experience on the streets. A greenhorn. Hmm. That, that I must be hard, yellowed and sharp as a tack. <laughs> oh, holes. Man, that must be... That's the syphilis. <laughs> no, I was thinking, then wouldn't he be like a 16-year Gouda or something? Excuse me, I'm a 74-year-old <laughs> Gouda. I'm practically dust. <laughs> a strong breeze. <laughs> Send my cheddary masses off into the universe. <laughs> I don't go outside anymore. I thought we established that he was a Gouda. 
I'm not good at cheese puns. <laughs> Look, I just eat what they feed me, all right? Usually people just throw food at me in cases, and I rule in their favor. Yeah, but the odor of an old cheese to match. Hey, it's dignified. In any case, there, in the lot, I felt something stirring in the back of my mind. By Garish car, you mean... Mr. Edgeworth's car, yes. Mr. Edgeworth? Incidentally, the knife with which the victim was stabbed was also Mr. Edgeworth's. Wasn't it? Hmm, indeed it was. Ah, what an odd case this is. And the person you saw, you sure it was the defendant. I saw her from no further than 30 feet away. I'm certain it was her. If she's telling the truth, we're doomed. Let's just do what we can. Even if we don't have any proof, we can always nitpick. Witness, in your testimony, you clearly stated the following. Prosecutors are nothing more than worms. Ergo, you are a biased witness. You might want to keep those silly opinions to yourself in the future, Rookie. Huh? Rookie? Unless you're willing to risk the consequences of doubting me. <laughs> I'll fry you like a fritter. Crispy on the outside, chewy on the inside. That... that was inspiring! I believe I've heard that tagline elsewhere. Uh, you could cry plagiarism? I may be relegated to the lowly post of lunch lady, but my instincts are honed. Oh, she took a photo? The, a photograph? You took this? The moment I witnessed the crime, my reflexes took over and snap, I took a picture. In fact, one of my lunch boxes is rigged with a camera. I suppose that's more exciting than just hanging it around your neck. Witness, why am I only seeing this photograph just now? You think I'd show it to you? A prosecutor? Think again. Yeah. My boyfriend works in the photography division of criminal affairs. Well, this is most certainly the defendant. Crime photo added. She's wearing gloves. Uh-oh, that's unmistakably Lana Sky. So what was the defendant doing at the time? The chief, oh yeah, holding the knife in her right hand. That's consistent with the blood splattering we saw on her. Tell me more about this knife that the suspect was carrying. Well, I'd say the blade was about four inches long. Is that right, Mr. Edgeworth? It is your knife, after all. Uh, <clears throat> yes, that's about right. Prosecutors are, by nature, well-versed in the location of a man's vital organs. I'm sure it was easier than boiling an egg for my egg salad surprise set. You can't testify as to your ability to kill an egg. I mean, a person. Hmm. Perhaps a chicken salad set would have been a better metaphor. So the defendant was holding a knife. What then? the court why you didn't try and stop the crime. You did see her raise the knife to strike, no? Ah, the defense has a point. Unfortunately, by the time I realized what was going on, it was already too late. Too late? Yes. The next moment, the chief prosecutor brought down the murder weapon. I see. It's only a flesh wound, Mr. Wright. We can make it. You said that before. Anything else? Scientifically speaking, Miss Starr's testimony is flawless. Sounds pretty fatal to me. Well, what do we do? Is this it? Is my sister guilty? Let's just keep our heads cool and press the witness a bit, shall we? For some reason, having her panicking next to me makes me calmer. D don't smile like that. 
Okay, so... Okay, so we've pressed them on everything. What do we have? Um, so we have... No prints, but she had gloves. She didn't say what we time all, of She day. didn't say what time. Yeah. And then the cell phone was dropped. Let's take a look, good look at that. That looks like she's opening the... That's interesting. Had she Wait. just stuffed the body in yeah, there? Yeah, hold on. Like... If she's got blood on her, then she stat. Her order of events is wrong. Well... Standing next to the garish car... Unless she shoved the dude into the car afterwards. But no, no, no. Which... She, she said she took the picture and then... And then she... St stabbed him. So Lana Sky was already bloody. Okay, I saw the chief prostitute. Okay. Holding her knife. Then she thrust it into the chest. Like... Uh, no. You don't present it then. Keep going. I'm gonna press her on this again. How did she get the knife before opening up the car? So she was saying that prosecutors should know how to kill someone with it. Is this the one where we had the photo? Yeah, so she was talking about the cheese and the pale stuff. I, I The problem feel like... is it passed. So... I want to say it's this one. Maybe? No, so what I think you should do is... Can we look at the ID? Oh, uh, yeah, the parking stub. Um... How's Edgeworth? Uh, 512. This is dated the day of the crime. Murder took place three minutes oh, after was... Edgeworth parked his car. If only he was it's held Emma up... Emma talking. Oh, sorry. If only he was held up a couple extra red lights. He wouldn't have been caught up in this whole affair. Perhaps. It just goes to show that you never know what'll happen when you run a yellow light. Yo, yeah, she... She didn't say what time of day. No, that'll be relevant later. Uh, that has nothing to do with the crime. I love that I can just check it. Mm hmm This must be the victim's blood, right? Either that or Edgeworth cut himself peeling an apple. What's, what's Edgeworth doing with a knife like this anyway? Oh, this oh, is the yeah. whole roughing it out in the woods thing. Yes, yeah, so we've already we've already heard that one. What I was wondering is what was she doing afterwards? Because she said that she apprehended her herself, but suddenly that testimony's gone. Yeah, I guess not. Wait, 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 wait! Go look at the photograph again. It's, there's, it's accurate. There's a small wall. Yeah, that is the, the chain link fence. Wait, can you look at the car again? Yeah. Or the photo of... No, it's still in the same spot. If you notice, there's a barrel there, but where's the downed barrel? Oh yeah, the barrel got knocked over. Well, there were two barrels. Oh. It was weird. But no, I think the... Wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa wait. 4 p.m. and 5.30? Didn't she say she was coming in for lunch? Also, four and a half inch knife. Probably quibbling, but I don't know. 
Well, the the blade itself. Yeah, you wouldn't have half an inch to hold. Eh. Probably. Equivalent. I mean, it could be a planted knife. I, I think I'm gonna present the photo. Unfortunately, it's, I'm probably gonna get dinged here. And you witnessed this. You saw Miss Guy stab the victim with a knife. As I've already said, yes. I swear it on my finest salmon swirl lunch. Hmm, ah, I'm sure that's a fine lunch. But isn't that odd? Look at this photograph. This is the photograph you took at the very moment of the crime, is it not? Then why is Miss Guy not holding the knife? Hmm. Hmm. Ah, ahem. Mr. Edgeworth, your thoughts. Objection. That had to be the weakest objection I've ever heard, Edgeworth. And it was still stronger than your ever-feeble mind, Mr. Wright. What do you mean, Mr. Edgeworth? This photograph was not taken the moment before the stabbing. This was taken the moment after the stabbing. And how can you tell that? Because the blood's already on her. Blood spatter. Huh? Splatter, I should say. See the dark crimson stains on the prosecutor's coat. It's a black and white photograph. Ah, yes, it's hard to tell. But this could be blood. Well, Mr. Wright, I see no problem here. No problem except you. Mr. Wright, are you going to just sit there and take that kind of abuse? Ah, uh, you gotta be, you got a better idea? I mean, no problem technically, unless, I mean, yeah, where is the knife? Unless she just dumped it in the trunk, but why is the body not hanging out? You wouldn't be able to see it from that angle. But it was like all over the ground. Oh yeah. Yeah, you would you would probably be able to see the lower half of him hanging out. Also What is what is she doing? Wait. That contradicts what the witnesses said in her testimony. There we go. Namely, that she took the picture the moment she witnessed the crime. Well, it seems I was slightly unclear. My apologies. Hmm. Th that's it. If you run out of lunch, you order seconds. Problem solved. If you don't like it, try ordering the jumbo size lunch from the get-go. Good advice. I'm not sure I understood it, but good advice. I didn't have time to stop her. Prosecutor Sky was cold, calculating, like a robot. She killed without pain or remorse. It was a premeditated murder. Premeditated? How do you know? Look at the chief prosecutor's hands in that photograph. Well, are those gloves? Surgical gloves made out of thin rubber, most likely. Why would she have those on? Uh, it was not. If it was not premeditated, she would not be wearing those gloves. What? Ah! Those gloves do seem to tell a tale of premeditation. Premeditated murder, a serious offense. Witness, add this to your testimony. The murder was planned. The rubber gloves prove it. What if she was just in the habit of wearing gloves? Like driving gloves. The gloves were admitted as, as evidence when the defendant was arrested. They were rubber gloves of the kind used for autopsies. In other words, when the chief prosecutor came to the crime scene, she came to do murder. It's the only possible c conclusion one can make. <laughs> Everything was planned. It was a premeditated crime. Ah! Impressive. I'm sorry they took you off the force, Miss Star. This is bad. She's got them all thinking this is all planned. She can prove this claim. The trial's already over. I gotta think of a way to show that this wasn't premeditated. It's only a flesh room, Mr. Wright. We can make it. Does she always say the same thing? Mm -hmm. Oh. Nope. 
Same deal. Mm hmm There has to be a way for us to prove that it wasn't planned. Well, yeah, it's it's the parking ticket. Mm hmm I'm like, 99%. Why, why the parking ticket? Because it was three minutes prior. There's no way you can plan on that. Mm -hmm. that, is, that is way, way too close of a call. Nope. Mm. I'm apparently wrong. That's How stupid. far back do we have to go? I just saved. Oh, okay. Can we look at the his autopsy thing? Wait, when did the car come in? 5.12. So the time frame fits. Can you go back to the autopsy? Well, with between 4 p.m. Loss and 5.30. Loss of blood from the chest wound was all the blood in the car as opposed to the ground? Did she shove him into it immediately? The trunk wasn't even open. In her testimony, that is. There wasn't a photograph for it. I mean, there's a cell phone. Wait, that was at 518? Or... Yeah. That'd be like three minutes after the murder, give or take. Hmm. I, I definitely remember being kind of lost in this one. Because you very much have to like... Pre pre not press, presents like weird ones and it, it's Well, also, why was his card all the way on the other side of the map? Yeah, I don't know, but that's I don't think that's relevant right now. I want to say a cell phone, maybe? I mean, at this point, start chucking things and see what fits. So it was 5 8 at the rubber gloves part? No. no, it wouldn't be the rubber gloves part. Yeah. We go through her testimony again from the start. Unfortunately, her like her dialogue is just random. Okay, so she was on her well, uh, to the boyfriend. So she had How do you cross from parking lot A to parking lot B? You have to go outside. But that's none of that is relevant right now, Shell. Okay. We're looking for the current contradiction. Oh, for it was planned? No, 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 no. You already pressed that about the glove situation. I know, situation. I'm just going through it again. Because this is the new thing that got added in, which is, mm -hmm. means this is where we press and present almost always. Mm -hmm. Well, you could do the ticket stub. Do you want to do the ticket I stub? I tried the ticket stub. Oh, you did try the ticket stub? I, I did the ticket stub, Michelle. Mm, mm -hmm. Like, that is the first thing I, I did. Which, like, for me, that makes the most amount of sense. How do you premeditate that close of a call? Mm -hmm. Unless she knew he was going to be there precisely at that time. I mean, time. Uh, alternatively, because it's Edgeworth's knife, I mean... Yeah, how did she get Edgeworth's knife? I, That's what yeah. I'm wondering. Unless she had access to his car 